Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost maths video on scale factor of volume and surface area. Now let's say I was to draw uh, two squares. So I had this square here and this square here. So let's say this square is uh, one meter by one meter. And let's say that this square we make three times as wide. So that's gonna be three meters by three meters because we're scaling the length and the height in the same way. So it's three times as wide, three times as tall. Now, the scale factor of length is three, because it's three times bigger, but what's the scale factor of area? Well, let's look at the area of each. Now, we know the area of a square is just width times height, so the area of this is one times one, which is one meter squared. But what's the area of this square here? Well, it's three times three, which is nine meters squared. So even though the lengths got three times bigger, both the width and the height, the area actually got nine times bigger. And the way I'd write this is we can say, well, the scale factor of length, SF, short for scale factor, is three. Then the scale factor of the area would be equal to three squared, which is nine. So if you want to find the scale factor of area, you just do the scale factor of length squared, and that will tell you how many times bigger the area is. So let's apply that to this first question here. We've got these two shapes. It could be trapeziums, but they might not be because you're not told about any parallel sides. Shapes A and B are similar. Now, we saw in a previous video that if shapes are similar, that means that they're the same shape, but just different sizes. So all the lengths are scaled in the same proportion. So, so the width was three times as big, the height would also be three times as big, etc. And the same with all the other lengths. So we've got the width of six and 18 centimetres. If the area of A is 20 centimetres squared, what is the area of B? So what we first do is we work out the scale factor of length. Now we already know that these two equivalent lengths are six and 18. So the scale factor of length is equal to, well, we can just divide the two numbers, 18 divided by six, which is three. So we can see the lengths are three times as much. So that means the scale factor of area is going to be that scale factor squared. So three squared, which is nine, just like it was above. And now, therefore, if we're told that the area of this shape, A, is 20, then we know that the area of B is just going to be 9 times bigger, because that's the scale factor of area. So it's the area of this, 20 centimetres squared, times by the scale factor of area. So it's 9 times bigger the area, and that's 180 centimetres squared. Right, question two. Now we're going to look at scale factor volume. So we've got solids now because they're 3D shapes. They're similar as well. Again, everything's in the same proportion. Uh, the heights are 10 centimetres and 15 centimetres respectively. If the volume of A is 40 centimetres cubed, what is the volume of B? Well, let's do exactly the same thing as we did before first. So the scale factor of length. And you might be able to see in your head, well, it's 1.5 times bigger. And the way you do that is you just divide these. So you've got 15 divided by 10, which is 1.5. So that's the scale factor of length. The lengths are 1.5 times bigger on B than they are on A. So we saw the scale factor of area was just that scale factor of length squared. So can you guess what the scale factor of volume might be? Well, it's actually 1.5 cubed. So the scale factor of volume is equal to 1.5 cubed. We could work out what 1.5 cubed is, but we can just put that in our calculation later. So that means the volume of B, well, we're told the volume of A is 40. So it's 40, and we know the volume of B is 1.5 cubed times bigger. So it's times 1.5 cubed. Put that into a calculator, because I can't do that in my head. And we get 100 and 35, and what was the unit? It was centimetres cubed. Right, these other two are slightly harder. So, similar solids, A and B, have surface areas of 20 metres squared and 45 metres squared. 
if the volume of B is 243 metres cubed, what is the volume of A? Now, we're not given any information about the lengths this time, but we are given the two areas. So we can work out the scale factor of area. And by the way, when it talks about surface area, we can just treat that as area. So we've got the scale factor of area or surface area, and we can just do 45 divided by 20 to see how many times bigger it is. It's 45 divided by 20. Uh, and we can leave that as a fraction. It is 9 over 4 as a fraction. So now we need to find the scale factor of volume because it's talking about volumes that we need to find. So what you do is you go the via length. So the scale factor of area is 9 over 4. The scale factor of length is what? Well, we know that if we had the scale factor of length, we could square that to get the scale factor of area. And therefore, in reverse, we're going to actually square root it in order to get the scale factor of length, because the opposite of squaring is square rooting. So if we do the square root of 9 over 4, that is just 3 over 2. You could do that on a calculator if you wish. So now if we've got the scale factor of length, we can work out the scale factor of volume, which is what we need. And we know the scale factor of volume is the scale factor of length cubed. So we do 3 over 2 cubed which is 27 over 8. So that means if we're finding the volume of A, I almost wrote B there, we know that the volume of A is 27 times smaller than B, because notice that B has a larger surface area, A has a smaller surface area, so therefore A will also have the smaller volume. So we know it's going to be a smaller number than this, so this time we actually need to do 243 divided by that scale factor. So always do a common sense check. We've got a smaller solid and therefore it's going to be a smaller volume. So if we do that on a calculator, we get 72 and the unit is metres cubed. And the very last one, A and B have volumes in the ratio 2725. If the surface area of A is 54 centimetres squared, what's the surface area of B? So the scale factor of volumes we can actually write it as a ratio instead of just a single number like that. So the scale factor volume here, we're told, is 27 to 1, 2, 5. Now the trick with ratios is that if we want to find the scale factor of length, remember that if we're going from either area to volume or volume to area, we need to go via length first. We know that to get from the scale factor of volume to scale factor of length, we need to cube root it, because if we want to get from length to volume, we'd cube it, so the opposite will be cube rooting. And if you've got a ratio rather than a single number, you just cube root each thing in the ratio. So the cube root of 27 is 3, the cube root of 125 is 5, and then we can get the scale factor of area. Now we know we've got the scale factor of length, to get the scale factor of area, we square it, and it's the same with a ratio, you just, you just square each thing in the ratio. So that's going to give us 3 squared, which is 9, 5 squared, which is 25. Now it tells us that the surface area of A is 54. So the 54 centimetres squared in this ratio is the 9 parts, isn't it? So that's 9 parts, this is just a ratio question now. So that means that one part will be nine times smaller, which is six. And we want 25 parts, so 25 parts would be equal to that times 25, which is 150 centimetres squared. And that is the final answer.